To write the formula for aluminum oxalate, let's first write the element symbol for aluminum, which is just Al. For oxalate, when you look at oxalate, you see this A-T-E. That means you won't find this on the periodic table. It's a polyatomic ion. So you either memorize that the oxalate ion is C2O4 and has a 2 minus ionic charge on the whole ion here, or if you're allowed, you could look this up on a table of polyatomic ions. Because we have a metal and then a group of nonmetals, we need to make sure that the net charge is zero, that all the charges add up to zero. Aluminum on the periodic table, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A. That's 3 plus. So 3 plus, 2 minus, that doesn't add up to zero. And it's a little tricky to figure out how we're going to get it to add up to zero. One way is to use the crisscross method. We can move the 2 down here, then the 3 over here, and get rid of these symbols here. And then we do need to put parentheses around the oxalate ion. So this would be the formula for aluminum oxalate, al 2 c 2 4 3 Let's check our work, though. We said aluminum, that was 3 plus, and the whole oxalate ion here, 2 minus. 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. 2 times 3 plus, that's 6 plus. So 6 plus, 6 minus, that adds up to 0, net charge is 0. So this is the correct formula for aluminum oxalate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.